Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today I'm going to give you an update on my hair growth challenge 2020. If you haven't joined, you can still join, it's not too late, but back in January I challenged all of my subscribers to join me as we try to grow our hair longer than we ever have before. So, I first created a hair growth or hair length check t-shirt. If you guys don't have one, make one. It's just a t-shirt, a sharpie, and a ruler. Super easy, I made another video on how to make one if you wanna make that. I'll link it in the description box. But this is how I'm gonna be keeping track of how long my hair grows. So in order to get my hair to grow, I wanted to try different things. One thing I wanted to try was using strictly products that are claiming to grow your hair. We have a million curly hair products, but not all of them actually say they're gonna help with hair growth. So if it doesn't claim it, you can't be mad at it. But if it does, we're gonna test it. Now this video is not sponsored. I am on the Curlsmith PR list, so I get sent products all the time, but it's up to me if I wanna actually use them or even make a video on them. And I wanted this to be a completely unbiased video, even though it wouldn't be anyways, but some of y'all like got trust issues, but I'm showing you real results. If my hair doesn't grow, you see it on the t-shirt. There's no lying in this. But I am using their Scout products. I did a whole video on these if you guys want to check that out. Step one, two, and three, their pre-slip primer, their cleanser, and their conditioner. I love step one because it has fermented rice water in it, which is known to help with hair growth. So in February, I really started pumping up with these products to see what that would do. But now I'm taking things to the next level and I actually tried the Curlsmith Ultimate Lengths 30 Day Therapy. These are hair growth vitamins, basically. So they look like this. They're like, you know, average Advil size. They're gel capsules, so they go down easy. And there's four of them in here. And this will last you 30 days. Now I personally have so many hair growth vitamins and pills, but I've never taken them before because I've been scared. Because a lot of hair growth vitamins have biotin and too much biotin could make you break out. If you guys are one of my loyal subscribers, you know that my skin is a main priority up there with my hair and I have very acne prone skin and I just was not gonna risk breaking out. I personally rather have short hair and good skin than long hair and cystic acne. So I just literally never used any of them. But I'm now going to give these a try. I wanted to start with Curlsmith because they're known to have very good natural ingredients. I am breastfeeding my baby so I have to be very mindful of what I'm intaking. I asked my doctor if it was safe to take them and she said yes, but it has no lactose, no preservative, no artificial sweeteners, it's hormone free, there's no soy, there's no nuts, no GMOs, and it's gluten free. So I wanted to give it a try and I'm happy to say that after 30 days of taking these, let me show you guys. I threw away one of the packs, but you know, they're empty. I actually took them for 30 days. My skin is still clear. Whew! Now that was risky because one, I'm postpartum now. So I think once you have the baby, you're supposed to like lose that glow. And I didn't know if it was gonna be replaced with acne. Um, we're in quarantine right now, so I can't even see my esthetician. This is a very risky time to be messing with my skin. But fortunately, I have zero breakouts right now. So that is very, very key for me. But it also has keratin, biotin, collagen, goji fruit. Like there's a lot of good things in here. It's supposed to make thicker, fuller, longer looking hair. So now let me show you my progress via pictures. In January when I started, I was on my last month of pregnancy and not much got done in general, but especially in the hair growth department that month. I was drinking a lot of water and I still deep conditioned every week, but when I took a picture in February, I noticed that my hair actually didn't grow at all. It was right around that 14th line and that was just a normal, I guess, hair growth when I don't really do much extra. But then February, I started using the Curlsmith products, step one, two, and three to wash and cleanse my hair. And then March 3rd is when I started taking these vitamins. And when I took my picture, my progress picture on March 15th, 
this is where my hair was. So now I'm all the way down to line 16. So there's already a huge difference from me not really doing much January to February than from February to March, just using better products that are claiming to have hair growth ingredients and starting these hair growth vitamins. I did see a change. So now let's check from March to now. This picture was taken March 15th and now today is April 14th. So another good month, 15 more days of using these vitamins. And when I take a good look, I don't know if there's a huge difference. I think I'm still right around the line of 16. Here's the tricky thing about measuring hair growth for me, because I have layers in my hair. So I'm trying to be more mindful to keep in mind all the different lengths of my hair, including my bangs, which are definitely very grown out. So do I think that these products work? Yeah, I do. And I do want to continue to use them. Do I see a super dramatic, super magical potion that makes you like Rapunzel overnight? No, but I do think I'm getting a realistic hair growth result from using them. But I'm now going to take it to a whole nipper level by adding more hair growth products by Curl Smith. I think what I'm going to do is try like one brand at a time and I'm starting off with Curl Smith. I might switch it up to a different brand in a month or two. Um, feel free to leave your suggestions on what brand you want me to try next. But I'm gonna be adding the Curl Smith Scalp Stimulating Booster and the Full Length Density Elixir. So this plus this plus the pills might just make me Rapunzel overnight. Feel free to try and buy whatever you can afford and whatever you want to use, but I'm gonna try using all of them at the same time. So let's start off with the Scalp Stimulating Booster. And it says apply directly to your scalp once daily to a dry scalp. Every morning would be ideal. Massage it evenly and throughout the scalp until you feel the booster has been absorbed. Do not wash your hair after application. For best results, use for at least three months together with the full length elixir. So that's what I want to do to get, you know, the best results. So I'm going to have to use this on my refresh days when my scalp is dry and I'm probably going to have to skip using it on my wash days because you don't want to put it in and then rinse it out. And then at nighttime, I'm going to grab the full length density elixir. This is for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. I love that it has castor oil, cedar wood, alma, green tea, soybean, lavender, witch hazel, thyme, clover, and pea sprout. And then it has all these, like those are like the nature ingredients. And then it has these science ingredients, which I really can't pronounce. So I apply this one at night, apply a few drops once daily, ideally at bedtime to dry scalp. Once again, massage onto the scalp thoroughly. Do not wash hair after application. Used for three months, best with the stimulating booster. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited to start trying all three of these. I don't have anything to say about these yet. Well, actually, let me open them for you. This is the booster. The booster smells like kind of strong. I mean, it has a lot of natural essential like oils in here. So it says the potent blend. It's pretty potent. It kind of smells like a cologne. It has like a strong gusto to it <laughs> and then the density elixir hmm i don't really smell anything so that's good and that's the main thing like i know you could just use natural oils like maybe jamaican black castor oil rub it on your edges you might get some hair growth but when things are like super greasy or the smell is really bad it kind of turns me off and i just don't want to use it so i already like the elixir even more than the booster because it doesn't have a strong scent or any scent that i can smell and i've used this before and it's not greasy i don't have an opinion on it yet because i fell off i used it for like a week or so non-consistently so that's not a fair review but now i'm gonna commit to using all three of these i have a brand new box of pills and we're gonna see how they all do i'm already 30 days in if you guys want to join me feel free to these are all sold at ulta let me pull up the pricing for y'all so i can give you accurate information the ultimate length 30 day therapy hair growth vitamins are 29.99 scalp stimulating booster is 27 dollars and what else? The full length density elixir is $39. So this little elixir is actually the most 
expensive out of the three. These are very high prices, but you're getting a very organic blend of natural ingredients. So just like when you go to Whole Foods, you're gonna spend a little bit more for that quality versus your average grocery store. It is what it is. But the fact that this one is the most expensive, I wonder if this is the most important one. Hmm. Now, obviously, I don't like doing any of my journeys alone. I want you guys to join me, but feel free to do whatever hair growth thing you want to do this month. But if you do want to join me and try the hair growth vitamins or maybe the elixir or the scalp booster, these are available at Ulta. If you try them, write me, take pictures, and let me know which one you're using. Let me know your hair type, and we could see how well it works for you. I would love to keep track with you guys and include your photos in my next like update videos so we can see how well these products work on other hair types as well. So my overall conclusion is, did the 30 day therapy work? I think it did. I did see a difference between my February and April. I don't know if it made a crazy result within 30 days, but I do think it is working and I wanna keep using them, especially because it did not break out my skin. So because these both say to use for at least three months, I might continue to use these for three months, at least. Unless I try something else, who knows? If you enjoyed this little update, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also should follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you can get quicker updates in my Instagram story. I'm also on Twitter and Snapchat and TikTok all at Ms. Bianca Renee. And please send me your photos so we can keep track of how well these products work on your hair. I would love to feature you in one of my next videos if you guys have good or bad results. We wanna see it all. We're keeping it really real. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.